MLS has now released all 29 of the 2024 kits, and we are going to rank them from they're really good to they absolutely crapped the bed. But I got a feeling we're going to have more they're really good than they've crapped the bed. These jerseys have been one of the best jersey releases that I have seen, and I am super pumped for this season with that and super pumped to do this video. So let's jump in and get right to the ranking. First off, we are going to start with Austin FC. Not gonna lie, I kinda like this. I kinda like that cream color with the green, but I don't think that it is supreme. We do have the rankings S through A, B, C, and F. So S is the best, F is the worst, of course, but I have to say, for right now, we are going to put Austin there in the B spot. I, I like it, it's simple, and the crest, the actual logo that they have, looks very good. So next up, we have Atlanta United with their blue resurgence kit, I think is what they are calling it. I like the blue, I don't know how I like the design though. I. I that Carolina light blue is one of my favorite colors, I will say that. And then, of course, you have the blue and gold, which is also uh, WVU colors that, you know, that's where, you know, that was my professional team for anything growing up because that's all we had in the state of West Virginia. But I don't know how I like the design on it. And so we are going to also stick that in the B for right now. We will, I will probably change these around because this is the first time I'm actually looking at these really kind of in depth and picking where I want them. So that leads us into FC Dallas. I know that people are very back and forth with this one, but I have to say, I like it. I like the fact that it's going from blue to red and it's like, like cut up. And it's not just like blue, straight line, red. Like they kind of gradually throw it in there. And I have to say, this isn't going to go in my Supreme for right now, but it does. We get our first A of the video there with FC Dallas. So moving on, we will just go to the next one. We have Charlotte. Charlotte's jersey is sick to me. Having the layers of blue with the mountains to the sea. Uh, they did a phenomenal, phenomenal job with this. And as of right now, I think, I think that we have to put this one in the Supreme category. Just my opinion, like I said, th these are all my opinions. Uh, please tell me down below in the comments what your thoughts are. Who do you think had the best jerseys? Who had the worst? I will probably change this around because I don't want to have too many up in that Supreme spot because there's there's a good bit here that probably could be in that Supreme spot for a lot of people. So next up, we have Chicago Fire. I actually kind of like this with their red and then the white. It does kind of highlight Carvana there in the middle. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that even though like, cause last year they had the best kit. And I think the reason why to me, they had one of the best kits between them and Minnesota was because there wasn't a sponsor on it. I think that's what made the Jersey look so good, but this one has Carvana. Carvana is highlighted. I like the simplicity of it, but we're going to have to put this one in the A spot. I think it is better than the Austin and the Atlanta Jersey. So that takes us to the MLS cup champions and that is Columbus Crew. And at first I thought, man, th this is actually a kind of a, a pretty cool kit. And then I saw the first memes come out that it looks like Charlie Brown. Really, Charlie Brown has nothing to do with Columbus Crew or Columbus in that uh, general. I like it. And I think that if it didn't have that connection and maybe if I didn't see the memes or anything that... It looks like Charlie Brown's shirt. I think that it could maybe be a little bit higher, but I'm not feeling it now. And I have to say it goes in that B spot. So moving right along, we have up next, Enter Miami. I like these kits. I like them better whenever you see them on TV. The, the 
images and stuff don't show how pink it is sometimes. And this is really pink. Uh, I have to say that I do like this kit for Miami. And I, as I don't think that it is supreme because it is just one solid color, I do like, however, whenever they make it fit where it's the Adidas logo, the team logo, and then the sponsor logo. So I have to say for Inter Miami, this is going to be in the A spot. So next up, we have FC Cincinnati. And to me, there is not much to say about this uh, jersey. Yes, the, the little color on the, the sleeves uh, are nice. And the orange and blue is nice on the side. But having it that plain in, in the, the jersey itself, I'm just not a fan of it. So I'm not going to put this one in F because they, the trim on the, the cuffs of the sleeve and on the side, that gives it a little bit more of a rating than straight F. So I have to put that in the C spot. That's our first C of the video. Now that takes us to Vancouver Whitecaps. I actually really like this. I know, like I just said, Simple was not looking good on the Cincinnati uh, kit, but this one with that blue and the stripes down the side with yellow and white and the white on the top. And I think actually what makes this is the patch. They changed up the logo a little bit and I really, I really like that. And it's not going to go in the Supreme spot for sure, but I just like the way that it flows and just, it is simple. I even like right here at the neck where the V is that it has the little white, we'll just say triangle. I like that. So with that being said, I think that I have to put it in the A spot. I think that it does look better than that Austin and Atlanta and Columbus uh, jersey. So I'm going to put it up the A right now. At the end of the video, we might move some things around and, and go from there. So next up, we have DC United. I actually really like this. I know that this is another one that's kind of simple, but the textured black look throughout the jersey really gets me. I like that. And I like how they did the cuffs um, on the sleeves where it's black and then a red. And like the black is a solid black. They didn't try to do too much with the texture there. And I really like it. And so this one is also going to go in that A spot. I'm trying, like I said, I'm going to try to not put too many teams in that Supreme spot, but man, there, there, there might be a lot in the A, but we'll try to, we'll try to make it a little bit more even there closer to the end. So next up, we have our first LA team. That is the LA Galaxy. I kind of like this. I like the, the stripes, uh, you know, the pinstripes pretty much down the Jersey at like a curve. I like that. Um, but that's not that that doesn't do too much for me. Uh, very plain. I guess I just don't like white jerseys. I, I guess that's where I'm I'm leading to on this. I, I like the I like the the satchel look. It kind of throws back to what was it 2010 USA where they did the uh, they did the like the satchel look or whatever it's called the stripe there the big opening. I like it, but it's not the best. And so I'm going to put it in the B spot here with those teams for right now and, and go from there. So next up, we have Houston Dynamo. I love the purple. I love the purple with this orange. Yes, again, it's another simple one. Just straight purple with the orange like outlines and stripes and stuff. I really like this. This has to go in the A spot. It has to. Uh, if maybe they did a little bit more with it, Maybe some kind of textured look or something. It could have been a Supreme jersey. But to me, it is just an A spot. So for the other LA team, that is LAFC. Uh, I love the video with Will Ferrell. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, it, it's pretty funny. Uh, not much here for me on this one. I, I feel like I might get some hate on this one. Uh, I don't really like that it's just the straight down lines. Um, it just doesn't really do it to me. I don't think it's an F. But this one for me has to go into the C spot. Moving right along, we have Colorado Rapid. This jersey is sick. I really like the design that they decided to put on this jersey and the way they did it. And to be honest, if you look at the, the, the photo here, 
I like the cuff. If this is true, how the cuff is going to be where one is the, the left one has the white stripe and the other one does not. I like that. I know that usually you want it to look the same on both sides, but I actually kind of like the look that they're going for it there. I think maybe it's just folded and it will have the white cuff on both sides. I didn't get to see any other pictures other than this one, but I have to put this one in the A. It is very nice and they did a great job with that one. So next up we have the New England Revs. Uh, not a fan. I'm not a fan of this one. I don't know why. I, I, I think... I think that if they made the stripes solid instead of these like dots, uh, and I don't like how the blue and the red don't go together very well uh, there. And I might get a lot of hate on this one. I might get a lot of hate on this one, but I have to say that this one is going to go into the F spot for me. I think that is a straight fail. Um, just it just didn't go together that red and the blue up top they needed to do a better maybe a, a different kind of design for the two and then i didn't like the dots i'm sorry about it so next up we have montreal and uh i actually like this one it yes it was it's simple but i like the fact that the stripe is like right where the crest is uh it looks good it's not a supreme it's not a supreme at all but it's a very good looking slick jersey. So we will put this in the B spot. I don't think that it really grants an A, but I will put it there in the B spot. Now for my second favorite team in the league, we have Nashville SC. I actually like these. I like what they did with it. Uh, yes, it's simple with the blue, but I like the fact that they did the blue through the Adidas and the Nashville logo because you want to highlight the team's logo, not the sponsorship, in my opinion. I absolutely hate sponsors on the front of jerseys. I wish that was not a thing, but I understand you got to pay for it. Uh, you got to pay for the team and stuff in some ways. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I like this. I like the simplicity of it with the blue and the, the yellow. They also, I think it, it playing a role in it is the blue shorts that they're going to be wearing with these. And then also just the little detail, the 615 on the back of the neck. But then they have also come up with different little patches down on the corners, how you see on the photo where there's two different patches at the bottom. You can pick if you are from Nashville and you want to represent the area that you live in. They made little patches for each location in Nashville. So I think that's a really cool touch too. I'm not going to say that this is supreme though. But for me, it goes in the A spot. That that's a really, a really sick jersey in my opinion. So here's another one we got. We got NYCFC. Uh, I think this is a fail. I think that uh, it, it's too. I think it's a lot. That they're looking a lot like FC Cincinnati. I know that that blue uh, is not FC Cincinnati's color, but it's it's close. Uh, I do like the black. I do like the black. I don't think this is an F. I'm not going to give this one an F at all. Um, I I think that maybe one thing that they should have done, they, they have the blue on one side uh, down the arm and orange down the other arm, but then they have the orange and the blue stripes on the same side. Maybe if they flip those to give it a little change, I think that that could have made it look a little bit better, but we have to put this one in the C spot. I just don't think that there is enough there. Now, one of my favorite ones is the other New York team, and that is the Red Bulls, the, the zigzag. I like it. I like the zigzag on this jersey uh, with it being predominantly red with the black zigzag. For me, this one goes in the Supreme. I might get some hate for it because it's, I don't know, it's it's nice. I like that it pops. I like, I like those brighter colors that pop, and you can actually see them and they're bright. I, I like that. So I have to say that the Red Bulls jersey is in that supreme spot. And then that leads us to RSL. This jersey is really sick to me. I really like that they put like the mountains at the top. And I like that they didn't cover up their logo and the Adidas logo. It's just below. Yeah, it, the one mountain part goes up into the logo, but behind it. And again, they don't showcase the the sponsor so i think that is a huge play on it 
Um, again, I kind of like the, the Revs jersey, and I think this is why this one bumps it down. Just like that Revs jersey where the red, they have the red go up and then it goes straight to the blue sleeve. I'm not really a fan on that, and I don't want that to go and notice that like I made an exception for one jersey and not the other. Uh, this, if they could have done that design differently up there, I think that this would have been a supreme. But with that, it knocks it down to the A spot for me. So next up, we have Orlando City. Now, I think that they throw us off with this photo, this graphic here, because it looks white. I think that they throw us off on it. It looks white, but it's not. It's like this light purple I do not like it. I don't like it with the red. I like the logo that they have come up with, with the, you know, the three lines that that's wonderful and everything, but I just don't like this Jersey. I don't like the red with this light purple ish color. I, I just don't like it. And for me, it's an F. I know that I feel like I saw a lot of people on social media say that they really like this. The best part for me is the logo. I like how they redesigned the logo and made it the three lines. Maybe they should stick with that. But yeah, I have to say that that one is an F. So next up is St. Louis City. This one for me, I I, I don't have much to say about it. They, they made it. I do like that they made like a little bit of a texture look. The waves in the white with a little bit of gray. I just think it's too plain in the red with, you know, Purina's red, the logo's red, uh, the Adidas logos, are, just everything's red. Everything's red. Um, and I think this is a fail on St. Louis's part. It's a good, it's a good, nice jersey in a way, simple, but I don't like it. And I might have to give this an F after looking at it again. At first, I was going to put it in a C spot. I have to say it's an F. So next up, we have... Philadelphia Union. Now we're getting into some of the really good ones. I really like this Philadelphia Union jersey. The design that they have, the diamonds and the little triangles straight down the middle and everything lines up down the middle. I absolutely love this and there's not much more to say about it. This to me is in the supreme spot. Then we go to Sporting Kansas City. I also like this jersey with the diamonds this is phenomenal. I, I really like this. Very simple on the outside, but having those diamonds down the middle and, uh, you know, placing the Adidas logo in kind of like in the middle of one. It's not really straight in the middle. And then the logo in one. I, I really like this design. I don't think it's supreme, but it will go up there and we will put it there in the A spot. Minnesota. Minnesota does it again. This Galaxy look is phenomenal. I absolutely love this kit. This is one that I'm going to have to pick up. I have to get it to match the uh, what like the replication of the Northern Lights of their other one. This is beautiful, and I really like this. And this is probably my favorite jersey of the year so far. And uh, yeah, it, obviously it has to go up into the supreme spot there for me now we go on to seattle sounders new logo and this jersey to me is sick i know that some people this one i think a lot of people are torn on you either like it love it actually or hate it i love this this is phenomenal this green and that light blue like i said that carolina blue is one of my favorite colors so it really sticks out to me and that green is really nice and I actually, I'm starting to really like their new logo. I think I think it's pretty good. Even though it's simple, it goes along with this jersey, in my opinion. And I think they did a really good job with the first jersey with that logo. I have to say this is a supreme for me. This is a really nice jersey, and it goes up there. So that puts us with five up there. So I don't know. I don't know if I can have five up there. So we might have to change that a little bit. So next up, we have... The Earthquakes, uh, come on, come on. It, you got to do better than this. Uh, I like the logo. That's about it. I like the logo, and it's just too plain for me. So I have to say, just like St. Louis with the red, just a lot of red, uh, but I have to go with an F on that. 
uh, you failed me, uh, Earthquakes. I thought, you know, I, I'm on your I'm on your playoff train all the time, and, and you come out with a jersey that is too simple and not that great. So that leads us into Portland Timbers, who are giving Minnesota a run for their money with this one. This is beautiful. The like cream off white, whatever it is, but then the pine around the edges and highlighting, you know, they did a good job with putting the Adidas logo and the team logo in the middle here, because I think if they did it where it was separated, where it was on either side, I think this would have been a fail, but with them lining it up, wonderful. This is definitely in the supreme spot for sure. And then we go down to last but not least, Toronto FC, just like their past season was a fail, this is an absolute fail. I, I don't understand why you would put a little bit color difference and make the like logo throughout, like make it, you blow it up and what? What is this? Uh, if there was something lower than an F, I think that I would give it to them. Uh, but for that, they go into the F spot. So we're going we're gonna to take a, a step back and look at this real quick. So we have Charlotte, Red Bulls, Union, Minnesota, Seattle, and Portland all in that supreme spot. I don't know if I can move anybody out of that. I think that we might have to. There for the A spot, we have Dallas, Chicago, Miami, Vancouver, D.C., Houston, Colorado, Nashville, RSL, and Sporting Kansas City. So we're going to move two of those guys down to a B spot. I'm looking at this, and two of them just don't fit. And I think that those two are Inter Miami. We're going to put them down to a B spot. And I think that Vancouver. I really like Vancouver's simplicity, but maybe it's too simple. And so I have to move them down because we do need to move someone down from that supreme spot. Do we need to move anybody from the B to the C? I don't think so. I think everyone's jerseys there look pretty well. I think if I would move anybody, it might be either the Galaxy or the Austin FC jersey. But we're going to leave them. We're going to leave them. That's fine. I think, though, we're only going to move one Supreme spot down to an A spot. Because I like all these jerseys. I wish I could just get all of them. MLS, if you want to send me some of these jerseys, I would absolutely love that. But I have to move Charlotte's down. I really like Charlotte's. But it just doesn't equal, it's just like maybe that much less than the other ones there. And I'm going to have to move that one down. So my supreme ones are the Red Bulls, Philadelphia Union, Minnesota United, Seattle Sounders, and the Portland Timbers. And then for the failing, we have the Revs, Orlando City, St. Louis, San Jose, and of course, Toronto FC. I'm sorry, Toronto fans. Uh, it just doesn't look up for you right now. Hopefully they have a surprising season. I hope that they do better than what they did last season. But with those jerseys, they're not winning. But please let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Rank, Tell me your ranking. Would you put those in the Supreme Who? What would you move around? Uh, but until the next video, we'll see you then.